Hey folks, over on the bench slash desk, I did go out for a walk today. However, it was windy, snowing, and the feels like temperature was minus 11. <laughs> Too cold to be filming. Anyway, um, second time through recording this, I screwed up earlier and forgot to switch screens as I was doing everything, so I wound up just recording my head the entire time all the more impetus to build our switcher box um jeremy had asked about adding a real-time clock to his raspberry pi build i everything i build has rtcs in it real-time clocks as opposed to hardware clocks or fake hardware clocks um we're using the 32 I'm going to look at my order sheet here. I believe this was, yeah, 3231 was the chipset. Only one of the commands is going to change based on which RTC chipset you get. So the first thing we need to do is with our, in this case, I'm just going to show you on a 0WH with headers. So we have the pins here, just like you do on a 3B, 3B+. Plus and a four. Um, you're going to orient it so that it's on the inside row of pins. So over the board, in this case on the zero W, we're going to work over the micro SD. The farthest over socket goes over that farthest left pin. So we are mounted like that. I'll overlay a couple photos here that I'll take with the camera in a bit. And that's as far as we need to go with our physical aspect. Again, as always, you're plugging in an item. Install it with the system unplugged. No power to it. Put that over there. <laughs> now, we're going to run over here. We're going to open either on the console or via, like here I have an SSH session opened up. Um, I'm going to pull back out my notes here. The first step we're going to do is find our device. It should show up as device 68. Typically, they show up as 68 in the I2C detect. Um, that's I2C detect dash Y space 1. Okay, it's not an L. It's a 1. So this is what happens with an L. <laughs> so, yeah. Clear, please. Thank you. You can see there, we're bouncing between the two. That's the L. That's the one. That's the L. That's the one. It's kind of hard to tell, but it's device 68. Once you've got it set up and you reboot and you redetect it, it should show up as UU. In other words, it is in use. So, the next thing we need to do is sudo... Then oh, we need to add this to our boot config. Wow, again, I'm running through this. I've already done this, but it still gives you the general idea what you need to do. And again, I have commented this. I love commenting, so I know what I did. All right, we've added the following command for RTC real-time clock support. Our command is dt overlay equals i squared c hyphen rtc comma and this is get, the next part varies by your chipset if you use the 1307 then it's ds 1307 if you use the pcf 8523 you get the point right make sure you put in the right chipset we're gonna exit that we're gonna save it okay <clears throat> that's our next item now as i go through my notes once you've done that, you're going to reboot so that you load the config. Once it has finished rebooting, you want to just verify it. So again, before rebooting, this will show as 68. Make your changes to the boot config. Reboot. And then run I squared C detect. And you should show as you. you. I'll put a link to the one from Adafruit, their instruction on how to do this. My notes are a little convoluted, but they're convoluted for a reason because I use that same 
chipset on several different systems. So I want to make sure that I have it right. The next thing we're going to run through is sudo apt get. Now again, the results are going to be different here because I have already done this. We're going to remove the fake hardware. Oh, it's not going to show up because <laughs> it's not installed. sudo apt get dash yes remove dash y for yes fake hardware clock. Right, it's not installed. So we're going to sudo update update hyphen rc dot d dash f. We just want to remove that fake dash hw clock. Remove. Okay. Fake dash hw. Yep. Next one is sudo sudo syst control system control disable fake dash excuse me <laughs> hw clock it's mass okay that's fine because we already we already removed it go down through my notes again now we need to oops sudo nano Nanu, sudo, nanu, nanu, nanu. Who gets that reference? Flash lib. You dev. Hardware clock set. Again, if you don't know that one, start typing your command and hit the tab key and it will list all of the options, right? So I'm not sure what it is, so I tab twice and I get my list. Okay, I want to do the clock set. Again, I've already commented these out. You need to remove these three rows. Just comment them out with a pound sign. Okay. We're going to move down to the bottom, and then we're looking for our TC dev. This one right here. We want to comment that one out, and then we want to comment out SBIN hardware clock RTC dev syst Z. Now, yep, now we've commented those out. Exit. Clear the screen here just so you can see what we're going to do. We want to take a look at our system time. So right now we're scheduled or we're set at 13:15, dead on the nose. <laughs> now we want to read the hardware clock, which is sudo hardware clock dash r. We want to read it. 15, 15, and 17 seconds. Right. Now that we know that that's right, okay, so let's take a look one more time. So we're within yeah, a few seconds, but we want to now write that time to our hardware clock. Actually, you should do a date first and then the right, but let's take a look at our time one more time. Let's go back up, please. five thousandth <laughs> that's pretty damn accurate and basically that's it you're done so from now on when you boot up you're good to go your time clock will sync and it will run the rtc now the trick is if you leave this system off for an extended period of time i don't know how long those supercapacitors hold on this model some of them use a standard coin battery um once the battery is out, you're going to have to resync your time. But again, as long as you're connected to the network, be it wired or Wi-Fi, you can always do a date check. And you should have synced with network time already before this. And then you can just read it. If there is any variance in time, you can write it from the date clock to the hardware clock and then you're set so you can now do your read and you're good to go <laughs> switch back over to this camera but yeah it's pretty straightforward nothing to it <laughs> let's see it